Facts of Mars. And by now, most of you are aware that an Islamic soldier has attacked in France. It's just a nightmare. People are uh, celebrating Bastille Day. If you don't know what Bastille Day is, look it up. Well, it was the storming of a prison at the start of the French Revolution way back when. Anyway, the, 30, the killer, a 31-year-old French Tunisian named by a local newspaper Nice Matin, is Mohammed whatever. I'm not going to try that. The married father of three mounted pavements at high speed and plowed through crowds celebrating Bastille Day in Nice last night. One eyewitness filmed armed officers approaching cab and lorry and firing repeatedly through its windscreen and doors for it appears the animal we heard screaming after being hit by a police bullet. It doesn't even deserve to be called an animal. He used a gun, too. Witness Nader El Shafai told that BBC he died inside of the vehicle. I saw his head hanging out the window. I could see it clearly. They kept shooting him from all sides, just to be sure. They used the light to make sure no one else was inside the car. Then they asked us to run away in case there were others inside the car or bomb. Heartbroken men and women refused to leave the bodies, their loved ones, and the dead remain strewn across the famous promenade the in glaze today. Promenade of English is basically well, that means French citizens, two Americans, one Armenian, one Ukrainian, are among the dead with several Britons among the injured, while others, while dozens of panicked people have posted images of loved ones still using hashtags number nice eight and number uh, retrance nice. How ironic that this word nice keeps coming up what the slime did. I'm waiting for this to be blamed on white Christians. You wait and see. It's virtually a guarantee. Truck driver is known to police was said to have shouted Allo Akbar, God is great in Arabic, before being killed in a clear suicide mission. Pro ISIS groups have been celebrating an attack orchestrated who coincide with France's most important national holiday. So there you got it. I'm waiting for them to blame white Christians for this. It's not far off, believe me. The uh, president of France has extended the state of emergency by three months. There's a picture of the truck. They call it a lorry. It's not quite a semi, but that's basically, well, we might call it a semi here, most people. How much longer are we going to wait before we do something? Bomb their camps and the atoms. And get into the goddamn mosques and start arresting these imams that preach this stuff. How much longer are we going to wait? How many more people have to die? Get in the mosques, arrest the imams that are saying this, and put them away. In solitary for the rest of their lives. Bust up mosques. Get in there, I'm sure, you, I, uh, I'm quite certain you'll find 
weapons caches and some of these mosques. There's no question. Islam has always been at war with the world. That's the way it is. Do we need anything more? How many more people have to die? Before they slime. Before we do something. Bomb their camps back to the stone mate. Out of existence. Arrest the imams to preach this stuff. Bust up the mosques where it's being preached. We've got to do it. Or this is going to continue and it's going to get worse. My condolences to the people of France. I'm so sorry. This is just beyond heartbreaking. But we've got to do something about this. We can't. This is just. This religion is out of control. The religion of pieces. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.